Hey there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, and I am here talking with one of our members, Yelena Dent with Yelena Styles Salon, life coaching and energy healing practice. So she does two really, I feel like they're united because she's healing through hair and healing through all of the mindfulness and spiritual work that she does as well. So Yelena, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about who you are and how you came to this interesting career of kind of working with people in two different ways. I do. Hi, Crystal. First of all, it's so great to see you always. And um, I hear, I do call myself and some people call me a beautician from inside out and outside in. Uh, because uh, this is exactly what I do. You know, some it's, it's uh, I work with people who are willing to transform. And it can be uh, coming from the appearance, appearance to the inner world or from the inner world, world to the appearance. So I do share clients from, two, from both businesses. You know, sometimes people come to learn how to manage their emotions or work on their mind or, you know, to uh, refocus their mind. Uh, and then they want to, you know, change their image, you know, change their hair or do, you know, a makeup practice, let's say. Uh, or they come for the transformation of their appearance from transformation of their hair to, you know, to find out that actually uh, they can benefit from meditation practice or from healing uh, uh, their physical body or their subtle bodies, which is chakras and, uh, and which is energetic system, chakras and subtle bodies. Uh, or the, they would like to work on their minds and their emotions to be more stable, to be more um, clear. Nice. I love the the commentary of calling it the you know beautician from inside out. That's very telling of what you do and how you support people. So tell me, so before I started recording, we were talking a little bit and you were already starting to share tips. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. We want to record this. So <laughs> You know, what we were talking about some of the things that people are um, coming to you for and what you share with folks that helps them to learn to recenter, learn how to um, create that space for themselves and how they can start doing that. I always leave people like when I do sessions and mostly it's one hour sessions. When I do sessions, I always leave people with some kind of pro practice that they do, can do at home. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, the first practice that come into my mind, you know, I've been talking today with a client and uh, there are, you know, there are many clients who admit the same effect that when they find, you know, at least at the beginning of meditation practice, when they find five minutes of meditation, which is, uh, you can call it quiet time, for example, you know, that you sit down and you are, and you be still. So you are still completely and you, uh, you, um, center or manage your senses. So you don't, you know, you don't try to each, you know, you don't uh, rush with your thoughts, you know, get up, you know, how sometimes the thoughts just can, can get you up and going, you know, and you just find yourself in a different place because your mind already started to run and you just follow the thoughts. Yeah. Yes. So how you can actually um, appreciate the thoughts. Thank you so much for sharing and come back to your inner state, to your meditation. And meditation can be just to focus on your breath. And in the breath, there is such a power because breath is also your present moment. So you are not in the past, you are not in the future, you are not in your to-do list. You are right here, right now. And our true power, uh, as I learned a long time ago, our true power is in the now moment. And this is the preciousness of this moment. And th so meditation and this stillness. And uh, so my client today, for example, I've been talking to her and she said, Yelena, I just set my alarm for like six minutes, you know, not even five years, but six minutes. And uh, uh, she found how, how beneficial is that? And uh, uh, she said that she can see the difference. She was meditating five days a week and two days she wasn't. And I said, do you see the difference? And she said, absolutely. Uh, I had another client who also admitted the same thing. And she said, you know, there is nothing 
changed uh, there is not it was nothing you know super exciting nothing special was in my week uh but it was more joy mm -hmm. in her it was more presence it was more peace uh in herself during that week and uh, she got done lots of you know she got lots of things done and at the same time she felt joyful and she said, this is what I remember. This is, uh, this is how colorful was my week, even though it wasn't anything special going on. Yeah. Isn't it great? So all I do is basically, I enhance the quality of life for people. And everybody wants this, you know? We all want, you know, because we can have so many things. Yes, we can be so wealthy materially and we can be so miserable inside you know even though we have so much so how to increase this quality of life from inner to the outer yes so this is exactly what i'm you know what i'm sharing and how i'm contributing to to serving others i love that yeah it made me think about so in my personal journey throughout uh having a child for the first time i had to do there were things that i had to adjust that actually taught me about wasted time so i had thought i don't have time to stop i don't have time for these things and i was trying to power through and for an example he would sometimes seem like he needs attention during the day and i'm going i don't have time i don't have time i just need to uh, keep doing what i need to do and he would resist and he would fight me and he would you know be more um agitated and tough to deal with and so if i scheduled in okay well fine i'm going to play with you for 30 minutes and then he was better he was fine the rest of the day so i actually got more done when i just stopped and played with him for a while and then he could go play on his own where that taught me that sometimes stopping sometimes you can't afford not to stop so i thought i couldn't afford to stop but really i i gained time back by taking time out so it's just a change in thinking process and being able to accept that sometimes um, you have to invest in, in a pause to receive back more work time and more productivity and more you know, ability for your mind to even work better. You know what I also hear, I also hear to the, the change of activity. You change the activity to something yeah. that you normally, you know, don't do, or maybe don't do enough. Mm -hmm. And it completely reset you. It actually made you more joyous, you yeah. know, and this is exactly what I'm talking about that, you know, to, because if we continue to do something that we always done, we're going to have the same absolutely result. Right. But if we incorporate something that is maybe sweet or maybe playful, yes, that we don't do enough, uh you know how transformative our life can be then yeah so elena tell me how people can keep in touch with you work with you get their hair done or get a session with you i have two websites so for the hair it's yelenastyles.com and for the life coaching and energy healing it's uh, um it's yelenadent.com so it's my first and last name. Uh, and uh, yes, the hair, I do all kinds of, and I, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, my telephone number is 720-690-1011. And I do have uh, email. Uh, it's yelena.dent at gmail.com. All right. I'll put all that info in my post as well so people can keep in touch. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me and tell us a little bit about what you do. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. And uh, I wish everyone a fantastic year uh, despite what's happening outside because you can create something from inside absolutely beautiful.